So I called this video, can you afford to move to Spain in 2022? Now obviously this is aimed at guys that are not in the EU anymore, so, and most of my subscribers from the UK, so it's really aimed at you guys. Uh, anybody else, uh, give this video a miss. Uh, because obviously things have changed a lot now, and hopefully um, people that are thinking about moving to Spain now do understand about the visas, and there's two main visas. There are other visas, but really sort of, for my age bracket, we're talking about a non-lucrative visa, uh, but also, if you've got the money, the gold visa. Now, the gold visa opens up a lot more opportunities, mainly because you can come to Spain, look at a property, and do it here. Whereas a non-lucrative, you have to do it all back in the UK. Now, I have heard some people say, um, we've contacted people here in Spain, they, they can help us out and set it up. But guys, end of the day, you've got to go to the consulate or the embassy in the UK, uh, get an appointment, pay your fees. It's done in the UK. And also, with a non-lucrative, you cannot work. And this visa, well, the process of the visa will go on for five years. The first year, then a couple more years, and you need for a married couple, at least £33,000. Um, but obviously, I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about once you move here to Spain, <laughs> at the present moment as well, we're talking about the UK driving licence, because at the moment, once you move to Spain, you become a resident, you get your TIE card, you've only got six months before you have to exchange your licence. If you don't, you can't drive your car anymore. Uh, and you have to take a Spanish driving test, which is more money, and it's not cheap. Um, if you think you're a confident driver, it's, it's not going to be so expensive, but the whole process can be expensive. Um, like I just mentioned, one, you're going to need a lot more money, three, three grand as well. Um, and I did a video a couple months ago, just before the Ukraine thing kicked off, the, pro the cost of living here in Spain has gone up. There's no saying it hasn't. Obviously, cost of fuel's gone up. The government are helping, but it's only 20 cents a litre. Uh, and we're talking just over two euros a litre at the moment on most cars. You can get it, if you stop, shop around, you can get it a little bit cheaper, but not much cheaper. Um, the government have said about the f electricity uh, and the gas to come down, but that, as far as I can see, that hasn't happened yet. So, yeah, going out, food's gone up, um, other things have gone up, and, I'm, and I've certainly noticed an increase, obviously, in fuel. I used to put in about 30 euros a week, and now I'm putting in 40 to 50 a week. So, a bit of a, a, a climbing cost. Um, hopefully, those sort of things will go down eventually. Um, obviously, another thing you've got to think about as well is the exchange rate. It's, been, it's not been too bad at the moment, but that can change just like that overnight. So it's something else to think about. I think what I'm trying to put across is, guys, if you're thinking about moving, depending on your lifestyle, it's going to affect how you live here. Um, and I'm, sh I'm sure if we'd moved now, uh, we wouldn't have got the property that we've got now. We would have probably got a property that wouldn't have a pool, because obviously the pool is a big expense. It does cost. I mean, we've got our own pool cleaning. You can do it yourself, but it's still a cost. You know, you've got to pay for extra water, uh, the running of the pump, especially in the summertime, it's on most of the time. And that, that is extra cost. Um, and another reason why I made this video is I got taxed this year. I'm not going to tell you how much, but I've definitely got, I got taxed this year. And I, now I'm going to have to put money away f for the next year. Um, so... As I always say in most of my um, property videos, guys, you've got to seek proper legal advice. Um, and obviously money is the most important thing. Don't just listen to this, these uh, YouTube groups and things like that. With, I'm just giving you a guide, but you do need to look at it a bit more carefully. And it may mean that you might not have, you may, may at the moment, it looks like Portugal is a good place to move to at the moment. I, I don't really know the process of that, but it does seem to be a little bit cheaper than, especially at the moment with Spain, because Spain hasn't made things any easier really since the Brexit. 
Um, some of the regions, especially Valencia, have been talking about making it more acceptable, but that hasn't been passed through the main government at the moment. So yeah, it's, <laughs> I just wanted to make this a bit more clear as a people. If you're thinking about coming over here on a state pension, you're gonna find it really difficult. One, because you won't be able to work. I mean, when we come here to Spain, we did do some odd jobs, cash in hand sort of things to help us out, but you won't be able to do that. And that's gonna be a bit of a problem really, especially paying some of the bills. I mean, obviously another thing that I haven't really explained to a lot of people is, is, is the upkeep of the building. Um, obviously we live in a sort of a white washed building. It does need to be painted every so often, especially with the sandstorms. The sandstorms make it go a bit yellowish anyway. Um, we're not doing ours for the moment, but in a couple of years time, we're gonna have to paint it. And, and, and the paint's not cheap. <laughs> and obviously another thing, is the actual, um, what I call, not the cladding, but the outside cement work has, has come a bit loose because the weather here in Spain is a lot harsher than it maybe would be in the UK. In the UK, okay, we get a lot of rain, but here we get the two elements. We get the heat at a long period and we get the, not the cold so much, but we get a lot of rain and we get a lot of wind and things like that. Uh, and then obviously another thing, depending on where you move in Spain, you've got earthquakes, you, um yeah <laughs> but it's not all it's not all bad news i still think living in spain is a great lifestyle especially when i get out of bed in the morning at half past seven um and i'll wake up with a lovely sunrise uh, and it's lovely and warm and yeah i can go out and go in the pool because i wouldn't better do these things back in the uk because they just want in where i live i just couldn't afford things like that I, and i haven't got no debts and things like that but at the present moment, uh, with the cost of living going up, it is a little bit of a struggle. Um, but that's one of the, the prices you pay, especially if you your lifestyle. I mean, if you you can probably still move to Spain and still get a good bargain, and you could probably um, go to the local market, things like that, and you can still live here pretty pretty you know on a good budget, but. A lot of people do like to have the luxuries of a swimming pool, a, a car, going out most times for a meal. But yeah, <laughs> just check your figures, guys. Just make sure you've got some money put away. But obviously also, just remember if you've got some money put away, you're not gonna get taxed on it. I only got taxed on mine, mainly because I've got, I've got a few private pensions, and then when my state pension kicked in, um, my private, one of my private pensions was taxable. So just be warned. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you found that useful. I mean, guys, if you've got any, um, if you've got any sort of comments you wanna make as well about what, how you found you, you can make things cheaper living here, that'd be fantastic. I think one of the things I've always been inquiring about is um, solar power, uh, but to be honest, uh, a lot of the companies that do fit solar power are pretty expensive, I think. Uh, and, and the return, I think if you was a younger couple living there uh, and you pay out for solar power, yeah, you probably get your money back. But for somebody like me, it's a, you know, like a 10 to 15 year before I start making a return. I'm a bit too old for all that. <laughs> but it's just a pity that solar power at the moment is, could have been made a lot cheaper. But anyway. As I said before, I hope you find these interesting. Uh, the next one, depending on if things change, I will be talking about uh, the exchange in the UK license for a Spanish one. And boy, it's, it's not what you think it is about it's just exchanging your driving license because you've got to do a driving test and that driving test does involve a few things. But I will talk about that in the next video unless the government sort it out. So, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.